Hello. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to tie extended body like this, but without any uh, additional tools. So it's very easy. You don't need this kind of tool to put in your eyes. You just use your hands, whip finisher, and bobbin. For, so for a start, I'm going to make this to make a slight taper here just to cut these small edges here nothing else and it's going to give me uh, some guidance uh, for the first segment that's it you can do it with a scalpel but scissors will work just fine just fine so first you need to insert the thread here and fold it back. You want to hold your thread in your hand and make the first turn around. So don't squeeze the thread unless you're sure that it goes just the way you want it first. So it goes like this. So first one goes just at, at the point where we cut it. So make the first turn like this and then you can squeeze it a little bit, okay? Now you can just move this thread away, you don't need it anymore. Check your thread, check, check your segment if you like it. Make another turn and then whip finish here and try to whip finish it in a spot uh, in this gap that you've created with the first turn with the first wrap okay now when this is done just position this thread between these segments between these two layers okay and now see this one is going this thread is going through the middle so just Put it back in the middle because you're gonna need it. So now that that's in the middle, more or less hidden. See where you want your next segments to be. And then when you make the full wrap around the, the foam, then just when it, when it's like full wrap now, you can squeeze. After you squeeze, make another one and do a whip finish. Okay, this is good. Pull it, pull it to the side like this so you can insert the thread again into the foam without the thread being seen. Okay, then as you can see this is more or less it you can compare it to your previous fly pretty much the same now that you're done cut the thread away like this so you have two pieces of thread they're going to hold your fly in the position when you put it on the on the hook I'm using yellow thread to make a contrasting and segmented body of this fly. The thread layer I'm just putting here is uh, going to make a foundation and a base layer for the for, for the foam body because foam body uh, tends to rotate if it's not uh, mounted properly. So right now I'm going to just put a few layers to make it more thicker and if it's more thicker there it's there is more surface between foam and the hook so the super glue will hold everything way better okay now that i've made this foundation i'll just go with my hook through the foam 
and I'll try to catch a little bit of these uh, thread turns. So I'm just gonna try to go through them, okay, like this. As you can see, it went just through those thread wraps. So, almost impossible to destroy. Now, you will see why I left these two thread pieces to hang around. Okay, just pull them together and forward. Okay, like this. You can rotate. It's just so my fly is going to be, let's see, here. So catch this thread, a few reps, then fold it back and lock it. Now you can just cut it as we don't need this thread anymore. And this is it. So now I'm going to make, to leave my thread here where I want my first segment to be, okay? Like this. My first set segment is going to be somewhere where my nail is. To secure everything, to lock everything down, I'm just gonna put some super glue on it. But I'm not going to super glue the whole body, just this first segment here. Small drop. Now you need to do everything more or less fast. This. So take a loose wrap around. Position your thread. Okay, like this. Tighten. And go over it a few times. Now, when your thread is up, go around hook shank. This actually locks everything in place even better than anything, anything else. Because the, the loop we've created around the foam is now fixed. It's, it's in the same spot and, and, and it's not gonna move because we tied few wraps around the hook shank like this. So next step is the same as the previous one. Just a bit of super glue. Add it here. Now I can cut the excess. Okay, and now this more or less tapered part I'm going to cover with the thread wraps. Now just for the sake of everything, see, I can, I'm trying to move, but it's not moving. Only the extended part is going to move. So. This is first segment, first part done. Now the next part is to add some legs. This is the only color I have, so I'm gonna use this one. I have some black legs though, but I like these. So for the back part, <coughs> I'm gonna just go, I'm going back here, okay? So you can see that the thread went over it, I just want to hide the thread so it doesn't cut into the foam here or somewhere else. This is it. Now you can add a bit of just a tiny drop of super glue over these legs here just a small one that's it it will hold it into the place now I want to make the rest of the fly so the rest of the fly is going to be antron dubbing and I'm going to use a bit darker color darker green and I'm not going to be very very careful how I add my dubbing because I need thick body so I'm just going to apply some dubbing here and wrap it around. Okay. 
move everything out of your way. So it's like this. We need thick body here. I'm going to fold the final part here and I'm going to fold it like this because I want it to be on the top of the hook shank. So like this. Make a wrap. Okay, like this. Then make a few wraps in, in front of it. And then again on the top of it. Don't squeeze too tight if your thread is thin. You can cut through the foam. And I'm going to move to the front a bit more. Like this. So my head is going to be here, which is good. Okay. Now, we need wings and we need legs, and that's it. So, for wings, I'm going to use a bit of flesh, just detail. So it goes like this, here. And again, just fold it to the other side. The other part of wings is CDC, three feathers here, aligned. Just before I mount the, the CDC, I'm going to cut this flash part just a little bit over the body length. The same size, I'm going to use the CDC. So, as I said, oops, sorry. So, as I said, three CDC feathers. The length is going to be just a little bit over the body length. Pull the fibers, keep them on the top. This is it. Now, fix everything. Put it in place. Now, this is going to be more or less perfect. Cut the excess of the CDC. Okay, now it's time to put some legs. So you need just two pieces of rubber. Put, your, put one piece of rubber close to you, then rotate your vise and just do the same on the other side. Again, don't put too much pressure on these. Just the, the weight of your bobbin is probably enough. This bobbin is uh, steel, so it's quite heavy. So this is it. We will add some more green dubbing. You can add some bright color dubbing if you want to create a hotspot. Okay, I'm going to finish off my fly just around here. So I'll pull everything in position because after this there are no corrections. So like this. It's a bit tricky because everything is moving. Now, go with your thread between those legs. Now, after you make the full turn, you can squeeze everything down. Okay, this is it, like a bubble head, position it, and whip finish the fly. After this, there is just one more thing to do, it's securing everything with the super glue, and that's more or less it. Oh yeah, you can color the fly if you like. Okay, this is it. So those legs are pretty much good. The last, like the, this one is a bit longer than it should be. 
but it's okay. So as you can see that they are moving like I touch my vise, they're, they're moving and they will do this the same thing on the water. So this is going to be a fly with a lot of movement, it will trigger the fish. The sound of the foam hitting the water will also trigger the fish. So quite good. Now for the finish, I need to do something and I need my dubbing needle for that. So to finish off the fly, I'll just put some super glue on the dubbing needle. Go into the knot here. I'll pull the foam a little bit. Let it soak here. Okay. So this is going to hold. And one more thing. I'll add some more super glue just below the feather. So like this, pull everything up. And now shape it up as you like it hold it for a few seconds and after that cut it now it's fixed nothing moves I just pull this up and cut like this so you can use your markers and color the fly. You can be crazy and add some eyes if you like. Not very important. But it looks cool again. And that's it, finished fly. Thank you for watching, thank you for your time. And see you next time with the next fly.